My dear student, welcome to be with you, Ms. Amal Ma'roof, to explain the last part of lesson two in unit two. The title is Continuous Lens. Let's start. Now, we will learn some objectives. Number one, identify the vision. Number two, identify the vision defects. Number three, identify how to use the lenses in treating some of the vision defect. Let's start. In previous session, we talked about types of lenses. What are the types of lenses which we talked about then? Lenses can be classified into two types. Convex lens, which is called converging lens. And we know that converging lens as it collects light rays after refraction, as you see in the picture in front of you. Second type of lenses, concave lens which is called diverging lens, as it diverges light rays after falling on it. That is the two types of lenses. And we know that convex lens is called the converging, as I answered this question before, because it collects light rays when falling on it. Concave lens is called diverging, as it diverges light rays falling on it. Concave lens form image yes virtual eric dimension as we know that concave lens form only one type of images as when you put the object at any distance in front of concave lens it will form image has properties one of them virtual number two eric number three dimension Which of the two lenses has larger focal lens? We know that the thin or the thick that has larger focal lens, yes. The thin lens has larger focal lens. Why? Due to increasing, decreasing of convexity, so the focus becomes farther from the optical center of the lens. So the focal lens becomes more than the thick lens, yes. In this session, we will talk about vision. That is the new part which we will talk about it. All slides we talked about before from the previous session, but now we will start with vision. What is the meaning of vision? How can we see object? Yes, eye pool has a diameter and it is equal the distance between the optical center of the lens and Retina. In front of you, a picture of my eyes or your eyes consists of what? Membrane that is called cornea of the eye. And the other membrane in the back part of the eye that is called retina of the eye. The distance between the optical center of this lens of the eye and the ret retina is called diameter of the eye. Okay? Where is the image is formed? At the retina of the eye in the back area of my eye yes when light falls on the lens of the eye it collects light and the form image this image is real and inverted and small in size after that the receptor find in the eye send a message to brain with this picture that takes few second or a part of second to enable brain to respond on this message by sent all details about this object. This happens in a few seconds or a part of second. And this message sent by the optical nerve to the brain to interpret or process this message and the send the response. Yes, excellent. Retina of the eye is organ that responsible for vision. So to see clearly, the image must be formed exactly on the retina. What will happen when the image formed before or after the retina? It causes defect. Yes, the retina of the eye is organ responsible for vision. So the normal person, the image formed exactly on the retina of the eye. Normal person can see clearly the near object at distance not less than 
25 centimeter. The far object at distance not more than 6 meter. This means that the normal person can see all objects from distance to 25 centimeter to 6 meter and can't see anything before this distance clearly, but it, he can see, but he can't see clearly all objects at distance less than 25. This means that when I make the notebook or the book in front of me at distance less than 25 centimeters, I can't read the words in the book. But when I put the book after 25 centimeters, I can read all words on the book. So the normal object, the normal person can see all object clearly from distance 25 centimeter to distance 6 meter. And we can see object at distance greater than 6 meter clearly. Yes, that is the normal person. Why? Because in this case, the image will be formed on the retina of the eye. So when the object that can to form the image on the retina of the eye, this causes some vision defects. What are these vision defects? Vision defects can be classified into two types, short sightedness and long sightedness. In front of you, a picture in which the image of tree appears before the retina of the eye. The image of this tree appear before the retina of the eye. This means that this object can see, this person can see the near object clearly, while the far object can't be seen clearly. It can be seen distorted. That is the meaning of short-sightedness. Long-sightedness, as seen in the picture, the near object will form image before the retina of the eye, behind the retina of the eye. Yes, this means that the person that suffer from long-sightedness can see far object clearly, while the near object can be seen distorted. Let's start with short-sightedness. In short-sightedness, as you see in the picture, the far object form image before the retina of the eye. So, this vision defect through which near objects only can be seen clearly, but the far object seem distorted. This means that I can see all near objects, but the far object can be seen distorted, and we can't distinguish between all details of the far object. What are the reasons of short-sightedness? Why some people suffer from short-sightedness? There are many reasons for this defect. What are these reasons? Number one, increase in the eye pool diameter. As you see in the picture, diameter increases. How? Yes, the pool becomes greater than normal person in its diameter. Number two, what happens when the eye pool diameter increases so the retina become far from the eye lenses and the image will be formed before the retina of the eye. Also, increase in the convexity of the eye lens surface. This means that there are many reasons for short-sightedness. Number one, Increase in the eye pool diameter. What is the result of increasing in the eye pool diameter, causing the retina to be far from the eye lens, and the image will be formed before the retina of the eye, as you see in the figure. But the normal person, the image will be formed on the retina of the eye. Also, what are the other reasons? Increase in the convexity of the eye lens surface. Convexity of the lens, as you see, increases. What are the result of increasing the, in the convexity of the eye lens? Cause shorter focal lens for the eye lens. The focal lens becomes shorter than the normal person. From this, we can conclude that there are three reasons for short sightedness. Number one, increase in the eye pool diameter. Number two, Increase in the convexity of the eye lens. Number three, 
shorter focal lengths or decreasing the focal length of the lens of the eye. What happens to a person that suffer from short sightedness? When light falls on the eye lens, it will collect before the retina of the eye as you see in the picture. So the image will be formed before the retina of the eye. And this person can see near object clearly, while the far object can't be seen clearly, it can be seen distorted. So the light ray coming from the far object are collected at point. Where is this point? In front of the eye retina, not on the eye retina, and dispresses after that, forming an clear, unclear image form unclear image as you see in the picture. This means that all light rays are collected before the retina of the eye and form unclear image for the far object. So this person that suffer from short sightedness, near object can be seen clearly for him, but the far object can be seen distorted. Yes. How to correct it? How to correct it? By using what? To correct the short sightedness, you can use concave lens, as you see in the second picture. Yes, this picture refers to a person that suffered from short sightedness. Why? Due to increasing of eye pool diameter. Number two, increasing the convexity of the eye lens. Number three, shortness of focal length and the image will be formed in front of yes retina of the eye so it can be treated by concave lens as you see in the picture why to collect or to diverge yes excellent my dear students to diverge light rays before falling on the eye lens so all light rays will be collected on the retina of the eye to form the image on the retina and this person become seen near and far object clearly so short sightedness can be corrected by using concave lens why give a reason to diverge light rays before falling on the eye so the image is formed exactly on the retina of the eye as normal person so short-sightedness person need a medical eye glass with concave lenses. Now we will talk about the second vision defect, which is called long-sightedness. Long-sightedness is opposite to short-sightedness. In all parts, when we explain long-sightedness, you know the difference between them. In front of you, picture for normal vision and long sightedness. What is the difference between them? First, the eye pool diameter in the person that suffer from long sightedness is shorter than the eye pool diameter of normal person. What about the convexity of the lens? Decreasing the convexity of the eye lens. What about a focal lens increases? That is the reason for long sightedness. Where is the image will be formed? Not on the retina, but it will be formed behind the retina of the eye, as you see in the picture. In the normal person, the image will be appear and form it on the retina of the eye. While on long sightedness, the image will be formed behind the retina of the eye. So the person that suffer from long sightedness can see the far object clearly, but the near object the same distorted. Yes, the long sightedness, the far object can be seen clearly, while near object can be seen distorted. The reasons. It is a vision, long sightedness. It is a vision defect through which a far object can only be seen clearly, but near object see distorted. Reasons of long sightedness. Number one, decrease in eye pool diameter. It is the opposite to 
short sightedness. As we know that in short sightedness, the eye pole diameter becomes larger than the normal person. But in long sightedness, the eye pole diameter becomes shorter than the normal person. What is the result of decreasing the eye pole diameter? This causes the retina to be close to the eye lens. Yes, so I can hear you. The image will be formed in front of or behind the retina. Yes, excellent, my dear students. Behind the retina. As this person that suffers from long sightedness can see the far object clearly, while the near object can be seen distorted. Another reason. Reason number two, decrease in the convexity of the eye lens surface. This causes what? What is the result? of decreasing the convexity of the eye lens. The focal lens increases or decreases? Increases, yes. This causes longer focal lens for the eye lens. Another reason. We know that when light rays coming from the near object are collected at point behind the eye retina, and dispersed after that forming unclear image. So the person that suffered from the long sightedness, the near object can be seen distorted as you see in the picture as the image formed behind the retina of the eye. And this image will be formed real inverted image and send to the brain to be corrected. How to correct long sightedness? We can correct it by using, as you see in the picture, by convex lens, medical glass with convex lens. Why? To collect light rays before falling on the eye lens, to be collected on the retina of the eye, as you see in the picture, not behind. That is the person that suffer from long sightedness. But in the second picture, we can use convex lens to treat this defect. Why? Because convex lens collects light before falling on the eye lens. It is corrected by using of the convex lens, which collects the light rays before falling on the eye. So the image will be formed exactly on the retina of the eye. From this, we conclude that short-sightedness can be treated by concave lens, while long-sightedness can be corrected by convex lens. Therefore, long-sightedness person needs a medical glass with convex lens. Why? To collect light rays before entering the eye lens. From this, we conclude that vision Defect can be classified into two types, short-sightedness and long-sightedness. Now, we will talk about very important application on lenses, which is called contact lens. What is the meaning of contact lens? In front of you, a picture of contact lens. It is a lens that used instead of medical glass. Why? Because it is a very thin lens made of plastic and can stick to the lens cornea by the eye fluid or by the eye liquid. The, from this, we know that contact lens, a very thin lens made of plastic and can stick to the eye with eye fluid. What are the uses of contact lens? A contact lens can be used to or instead of medical glasses or very for decoration, my eyes, or it changes the color of the lens of the eye. Now we will talk about very important disease, which is called cataract. What is the meaning of cataract disease? In front of you, two pictures for two girls. One of them is normal girl, and the other has a cataract disease. Which of them has a cataract disease? Yes, the picture on the left. Why? Because cataract caused difficulty of vision as a result of darkness of islands. As you see in the picture, darkness of the islands. That is the meaning of cataract diseases. So, cataract diseases cause the difficulty of vision 
as a result of darkness of eye lenses. What are the reasons of cataract? The reasons for cataract Number one, old age. Yes, our grandpa, our grandma suffer from cataract. Number two, illness. Some diseases causes cataract disease as diabetes. Number three, side effect of drugs. Drugs means all medicine causes cataract disease. Number four, some genetic traits. The result of cataract. What are the results of cataract? The result of cataract diseases, the difficulty of vision as a result of darkness of the eye lens. The result of cataract, difficulty of vision as a result of darkness of eye lenses. Treatment of cataract. How can treat the cataract diseases? By using what? Through surgery. What is the meaning of surgery? Make exchange of the eye lens with transparent plastic lens transplanted permanently in the eye. The end of this lesson, we will talk about life application. Life application in our daily life, land areas measurement. I can measure the area of the land by using a device, not by using ruler or metric tape in front of you a picture. Topographical scientists. Topographical scientists use a special device to determine height and distance. How? It is an application on the light and the properties of light as reflection and refraction to measure the land areas by using a special device to determine the height and the distance. How? By sending a beam of laser rays. Sending a beam of laser rays. Then receiving it again by mirror and the lenses provided in their devices. Again, sending a beam of laser rays, then receiving it. What about this? It makes a reflection by using a mirror and the lenses provided in their device. Some question on this lesson. Question number one, complete. The short-sighted person needs a medical eye glasses with a space lens. I will receive your answer on the chat. Who can answer this question? Yes, who can answer? I will receive your answer. Ahmed said that, welcome Ahmed. Ahmed said that, concave lens. Excellent, Ahmed, my Dear students, the short-sightedness person need medical eyeglasses with concave lenses. Second question, the vision defect, which is due to shortness, the vision defect, which is due to shortness, ends the radius of the eye sphere is called, yes, who can answer? Long-sightedness, shortness of radius, this means that shortness of diameter. So this person suffer from long sightedness. Question number three. The point that is in the middle of the reflecting surface of concave mirror it's called what? Yes, who can answer? Where is your answer? Pool. The point that is in the middle of the reflecting surface of the concave mirror is called the pool. Another question. Number four, the straight line that passes by the pool of the mirror and its spherical center. Yes, what is the meaning of this concept? Yes, excellent, Ahmed. Principal axis. The straight line that passes by the pool of the mirror and its spherical center is principal axis. Question number five, the distance between the focus of the concave mirror and its pools are called? Yes, I will receive your answer on the chat. Excellent, focal lens. The distance between the focus and the pool is called focal lens. Question number six. Convex mirror has focal lens 30 centimeter. Then the radius of its spherical 
surface equal what? He asks you about the radius of the spherical surface as the focal length equal 30 centimeter. So the radius equal 60 centimeter because the radius equal double the focal length. But when the focal length equal 30, so the radius equal 60 centimeter. Question number seven. The phenomena of the light bouncing off in the same medium when it meets the reflecting surface. This phenomena is called what? Yes. Where is your answer? Excellent, my dear student Ahmed. Where is your answer? The phenomena of the light bouncing off in the same medium when it meets the reflecting surface is called light reflection. Question number eight. The radius of concave mirror equal a space of its focal length. What is the relation between radius and the focal length? Radius equal double the focal length. Question number nine. A space is the image that can be received on a screen. Image can be classified into two types, real and virtual image. Which of them can be received on screen? Real or virtual image? Yes, I will receive your answer. Excellent, Ahmed. Yes. Real image. Question number 10. The incident light ray parallel to principal axis of the convexity mirror, of the concave mirror. It will reflect, pass through what? The incident light ray parallel to principal axis of concave mirror. It will reflect passing by or through focus. Excellent, yes. Question. Give a reason. Focal length of the thick convex lens is less than thin convex lens. We know that the thick convex lens has shorter focal length than thin convex lens. Why? Because the convexity of its lens face is larger, so the focus is nearer to the optical center, and the focal length becomes shorter than the thin lens. Question number two. Concave lens is used to treat short-sightedness person. A person that suffers from short-sightedness can use concave lens. Why? Yes, where is your answer? In front of you is the answer. To diverge the rays before falling on the eye, so the image is formed exactly on the retina of the eye. Give a reason. The long sightedness is treated by using convex lens to collect the rays before falling on the eye. So the image is formed exactly on the retina. Question number four. The object that is placed at focus of convex lens don't form an image of it as putting the object at focus of the mirror. There is no image is formed. Why? Why there is no image is formed? Because the refracted light rays are parallel to each other. So there is no intersection point to form image of the convex lens when you put the object at focus. Number five. The collecting lens has two vocal, but the collecting mirror has one focus. Why? Because lens has two spherical surface, but mirror has one spherical surface. Choose the correct answer. Concave mirror with focal length 20 cm and the object is placed at distance of 50 cm from the mirror. The image will be formed at a distance. Now, who can answer this question? A or B or C, where is your answer? Yes, excellent, my dear student. When the object becomes at distance 50, what is the relation between the distance at which is the object in front of the concave or convex lens and the focal lens? A focal lens 20 and the distance 50. This means that the distance 
greater than double of focal length. So the image will be formed between focus and the center between 20 and 40. The correct answer, number B. The image will be formed at distance more than 20 centimeter and less than 40 centimeter. Question number two. A spherical mirror where its radius is 60 centimeter. Its focal length is equal to what? 30, 120, 60 centimeter. Which of them is correct? 30 centimeter. Why? Because radius equal double the focal length. So the focal length equal half the radius. Question number three. When the object at center of curvature of concave mirror, the image is. What are the properties of image that form it by the object at distance equal double focal length or at center? Yes, what are the properties? Number one, real inverted and is smaller. Real inverted and equal to the object. Virtual inverted and enlarged. Where is the object? At the center. When the object at the center, so real inverted and equal image is formed. That is the correct answer. Number four. An object when placed at a distance less than the focal length of a convex lens, the characteristics of the image formed are number one, real inverted and enlarged. Number B, real inverted and smaller. Number C, virtual upright enlarged. An object put at distance less than the focal length. It is the only state of the convex lens to form virtual image. It is the only state. So the image will be formed virtual, upright, and enlarged in this case, which used to make microscope. In this session, we talk about some point. Number one, vision. Number two, vision defects. Number three, treatment of the vision defects. At the end of this session, thank you for listening, Ahmed and all my dear students, and inshallah, we will meet together in the next Sunday. Say goodbye and peace be upon you. Miss Amal Maruf.